standing for the uh, national anthem. Have the national anthem. them all out of the way and uh, both teams gathering in their huddles before the first bounce and uh, I suppose uh, Matthew the unusual occurrence in today's grand final the two teams uh, that are playing didn't finish in the top four in the division it was uh, an no. unusual occurrence we had the uh, combined divisions three and four all the clubs knew towards the end of the season that there'd be a split at the halfway mark and uh, it'd form a, another top four and uh, these two teams finishing in technically second and third on the reformed top four for division four uh, if you're talking uh, the full ladder for divisions three and four they finished in eighth and ninth spot on the ladder but uh, a very unusual occurrence for this, uh, well, breakaway division at the end of the season. It, it certainly is. Uh, not something I've ever encountered before. <laughs> but, um, look, it's created a, a lot of interest, obviously, for the, the teams in the second half of that uh, Division 3 uh, ladder. And Montmorency coming into today, five wins and seven losses for the season, whilst Golden Point have four wins and eight losses. Not often that you get a side with more losses than wins when you enter a grand final. But... Uh, Look, it's going to be a, a very intriguing match. Uh, hopefully we see a similar sort of spectacle to what we saw in the Division 5 Grand Final. Uh, who do you think is going to uh, win this afternoon? Well, I think Montmorency has been probably the, the form team out of the two of them. They have the best form coming into this Grand Final. Uh, five wins on the trot, four end of home and away season wins in a row to, to really get them into that second spot on the ladder. and. Uh, the, the form lines of the two teams are, are poles apart. It was uh, four out of the last five for Montmorency. It was one out of the last five for, for Golden Point. But it is a grand final. Anything's possible. The, the previous time that these two teams met, it was a 54-point win to Montmorency, 14-16-100 to Golden Point 7-4-46 and in that game it was a uh, blistering second half by Montmorency uh, kicking eight goals to two in the second half and getting them over the line. Lachlan uh, kicking five goals and uh, will be a major target in today's grand final as well. Certainly it will be especially uh, if they're kicking towards this Harding Street end which is favoured by a slight breeze. Beautiful conditions here at Coburg City Oval. Umpire is in position. You're with Matthew Cox and Anthony Stangatz on uh, VWFL Radio. Both Ruckman missed it for the first contest in this Division 4 Grand Final. The Magpies get a clearing kick. Didn't go very far. They're able to gather it here and work it to half four, but taking the mark here for the Dragons will be Wilkes. And, uh, well, it was a pretty ordinary kick off the boot. Didn't go very far. Golden Point trying to gather. Now it's picked up here by DeBarno. Kicks it inside, attacking 50. And it'll go over the boundary line and out of play for the Magpies. Opening stages of this first quarter here in the Division 4 Grand Final. So the ball to be brought back into play in the right forward pocket. Boundary throw in. Good work in the front spot on that occasion by Simpson. Trying to uh, clear and kick the Dragons. Trying to get it out of their defensive 50. Good uh, tackling pressure by Hallett. Everyone over the ball, not coming out. It does so now, and uh, kick out of the pack. Great work by Golden Point, trying to uh, clear it to half back and Clark. It's of the uh, Zoe variety. 
Still inside their defensive 50. Whitting's low. Now the handball comes out. Goes to Hunt in the in the forward pocket and she put it through. I think she has impressive kick from the forward pocket. And the first major of this Cotton's grand final match is on the board. It goes the way of Bailey Hunt and uh, they are one straight six to Golden Point yet to score and uh, Golden Point on that occasion just unable to clear it from their defensive 50. Yeah, and unfortunate for them. They were, uh, had a lot of pressure on them in their uh, defensive half. Montmorency working it well and, uh, as you say, getting the first score of the day in the opening at two minutes of this Division 4 Grand Final here at the Coburg City Oval. Umpire to get things back underway in the middle. Tap out one in favour of Golden Point. The clearing kick comes the way of Webb for Montmorency. It's on the half forward flank now for the Magpies. Gathering out here will be the Magpies. They send a handball into space and now a kick around the body to the hot spot. In front position there was Cunningham and she'll get a free kick in the back pocket for the Dragons. Cheeky work by Irwin at the, the back there. Thought uh, she'd uh, dispossessed her opponent and was trying to play on and uh, get the second score on the board but the umpire bringing her back. There's the kick. Went to a pack. Golden point with the numbers. Goody had a fresh air shot at it. Big pack around the ball. No one able to get it out. Umpire will call for it. About 40 metres out from the Magpies goal in the opening three minutes of this Division 4 Grand Final. So ball up again. Trying to clear the ball. Golden point to the half back line. Overrunning it on that occasion. Blythe. She was in good form the last, two last time these two teams met. Cross dropping the mark inside defensive 50 for Golden Point. They try and push forward once again. That was uh, Lachlan just uh, hovering around that 25 metre mark away from goal. And plenty of forward pressure in the early stage of this game by Montmorency. As you mentioned, they uh, finished the season with the five wins and seven defeats. Ball still held up 25 metres out from goal. Neither team able to extract it. Almost the kick off the ground could have been dangerous. Now a chance for Golden Point as they kick towards half back. Good interception on that occasion by Davies. Goes inside forward 50. Mark dropped. Uh, Babetti comes back to uh, the defensive 50 line again for Golden Point. Dispossessed Clark. Now around the corner. Here comes Montmorency. They get the ball out. Davies, long bomb inside forward 50. Not able to take the mark on that occasion. Golden Point in defence. Clearing kick. This is where they've had uh, their struggles early in the game. Trying to get the ball. Hallett. And the ball trickling towards the boundary line. Will it go over? Not as yet. Simpson trying to get her hands on the football. 55 metres out from goal. Now a chance for Montmorency. They'll go inside 50 once more. Long to the goal square. Two on one contest. Great contest made on that occasion by Montmorency. As Golden Point. It's uh, becoming a bit repetitive. At 25 metre mark. And then uh, going outside defensive 50. Ball heading towards the boundary line. But again kept in play by Montmorency. They're determined. The handball goes over the top. Can they push it forward? Good work by the defensive uh, Golden Point, and they're away in the middle of the ground. They certainly are, although Montmorency trying to turn it over. Davis in there, working very hard. Got the handball out. Golden Point, and umpire says in the back, free kick going to go the way of Hughes. Defensive side of the centre circle for the Dragons. Lobs a kick up. Three on one in favour of Montmorency. They've got the numbers. Davis gives the handball off. Went into a pack. Now it spills out. Golden Point trying to work it forward here. Dribbling kick along the ground will be turned over. Montmorency diving on the footy. Umpire's called in danger and a free kick will go the way of Blythe. Defensive side of the wing for the Magpies. They kick it along Good towards the half off. forward. Dropping the mark there was Barker. Now the Golden Point able to clear through Clark. So in the middle of the ground, here's a chance for Golden Point. Wilkes running in, a collision in the middle of the ground. I think we might have seen our first injury in the uh, grand final match. Oh, great leg speed that time by Lachlan. 
as we, we talked about her kicking the most goals last time these two teams met down to hunt in the forward pocket evades the tackler dispossessed though umpire calls play on here's another opportunity this could be a classic goal in the forward pocket and it is put straight through and that was hunt buttering up again how did she do that dispossessed gets the second goal on the board and uh, second straight score for Montmorency. It's been all in their forward half in the opening stages of this Cotton's V WFL grand final match. And Montmorency two goals straight 12, or two goals straight 21 as we've got on the scoreboard, but I'll stick with two goals straight 12. <laughs> and uh, Bailey Hunt kicking both of those goals for the Magpies. You're using my mathematics on the scoreboard <laughs> by the looks of things. I'll just get my eyes on Ashley Bays, who was collected in that contest. She's back up and still playing out on the ground, but uh, a bit ginger after getting a knock in the back as Golden Point now go forward. A kick. It was searching for Cummins. Didn't find her. It's rolling towards the boundary line on that far side of the ground. Golden Point with the numbers, tap along the ground. It's going to be picked up here. They should get a clearing kick inside attacking 50 for the Dragons. Their first entry for the afternoon. Gathering his Qubit. Has a shot on goal. How will it bounce straight across the face? Could be gathered here though. Still got time. Gordon puts it into the goal square. And a mark will be taken on the last line of defence by the Maggies. Searching for options. It's kick. It's a shocking one. Could be turned over. Montmorency, though, use a bit of composure and send it to the halfback flank. Trying to gather. They've got numbers and a bit of space now. Handball over the top. Comes to Hallett. Kick along the ground. Could be turned over here to Golden Point. Goody went for it. Umpire will call for it. Centre wing position. Commentary side of the ground. It's 12 points the margin after eight minutes here at Coburg City Oval. You're listening live to VWFL Radio. And video stream live via vwfl.com.au. Anthony Stangitz and Matthew Cox with you this afternoon. Division 4, Cotton's VWFL Grand Final. And the ball again cleared by Montmorency. They go up inside their forward 50 now. Foot race in shoes. But the bounce just didn't suit them. Golden point, an opportunity now to clear. Uh, once again, the bounce not favourable. Hunt, oh no! She's nearly kicked her third. Off to the right-hand side, and she is on fire early in this grand final. She has all the Montmorency score on the board, and they are 2-1-13, uh, leading at Golden Point yet to score. And uh, showing all their party tricks too so far <laughs> today. <laughs> just missing that one. Not by much. So uh, we just wait for the ball to come back in over the fence. Fogus will get us back underway for Golden Point. Just the pleasing aspect so far in this game has been the uh, the pressure the forwards for Montmorency have put on the Golden Point defenders and uh, we'll see it again now. They've only been inside attacking 50 once or twice Golden Point so far and Montmorency could get another opportunity here. Here's Hunt. What can she do with it this time around? She's going to wrap up her opponent and we'll get a ball up. About 20 metres out from Montmorency's goal. They're up by 13 points. Golden Point yet to score. And a free kick has been paid, and it will go the way of Montmorency and the way of Turnbull. So Turnbull comes in, stabs it, hits the woodwork. Another minor score for Montmorency. They go to 2-2-14. Golden point yet to score after 10 minutes here in this Division 4 Grand Final. Well, it was the final round that these two teams met. As we mentioned, 54 points the margin back in round 13. It was the fourth win on the trot for Montmorency heading into the finals. As Golden Point, a chance to clear once again. The handball comes out. We've got the numbers this time. But uh, again, the defensive pressure of the forwards from Montmorency holding that ball in. 30 metres out from the Magpies goal. Looking to the right of screen for those uh, watching live via our video stream. Golden Point. Just uh, fought hard to try and get the ball outside of uh, defensive 50 right throughout this first quarter. Good crowd gathered here at uh, Piranha Park in Coburg for grand final day. It's the second of three grand finals for the uh, Cotton's VWFL grand final day, Division 5. On by Seaford earlier on. And we've still got one grand final to go after this one. 
Tom Renzi, another opportunity. Good work that time by Gordon. Clearing kick for Golden Point. In towards the centre square. No one able to take the mark, but Montmorency, can they get the boot on ball? Well stolen. Good kick in towards the middle. Now an opportunity for Golden Point. Can they get their run going? Now they can. They kick forward through Cummings. Inside forward, 50 or right on the edge. Good defensive work again by Montmorency. They're working well, both ends of the ground. Good tackling pressure. Ball held up, taken too high, and it will be a free kick going the way of the Magpies. They will. Just uh, between half-back and the centre circle. Now they kick it to centre wing. Mark taken out here by Madison. Just looking for options. Decides to pop it up to half-forward. Ball missed the pack. Bounced over a couple as well. Montmorency with an opportunity. Give it Gatherings to Irwin. Burst through the pack. Kick around the body. Was that Hunt again? It, it was. was. And just another minor score, though. Offline again from Hunt. Been pivotal early on. 12 minutes gone in this opening term. And Montmorency are up by 15 points. Golden point yet to score as the kicking goes back across the boundary line. And out of play. She certainly has an aura about her in this first quarter. Every time the, uh, she gets her hands on the football, packs open up. They she do. just wanders her way through. It gives her space and uh, so far she's going good. Two goals too. As Montmorency kick it back in because it was a free kick because no one touched it uh, as it went out of the full from the kick in. So Montmorency have got a shot on goal. 45 degree angle. 30 metres out. Kick on its way. It's a good looking kick. It's a goal. Just trying to work out who it is out there. And it is Webb. So Webb he gets her first for the afternoon, and Montmorency, they go to 3-3, 21, Golden Point yet to score after 13 minutes here at Coburg City Oval in the Division 4 Grand Final. What do you think about that, Anthony Stangitz? Oh, we've seen glimpses of what Golden Point's capable of doing. It's just their running game. They just need to start finding those targets at forward 50. They're, they're unable to get past that forward 50 mark. I think it's only been the one inside 50 so far in the match as well. Their, their opposition have probably gone in there 10 times as Webb kicks it down to Hunt and Hunt will line up for goal number three of this Grand Final. And she has been impressive in the early stages of this match. So they've only got the three goals. And two of them already off the boot of Bailey Hunt. Boots it long, long and direct. They're cheering it behind the goals already. She has kicked three and spearheading this grand final for Montmorency Magpies. They move on to 4-3-27, leading Golden Point yet to score in this Cotton's VWFL Division 4 Grand Final match. And they've got a handy little buffer now, 27 points, and uh, a bit of mental confidence as well, because the Golden Point, as you say, haven't been able to penetrate their attacking 50, apart from one time earlier on in the quarter. And uh, maybe it's Grand Final nerves playing a part, we're not entirely sure, but they need to get it working forward here, Montmorency. It's not going to happen this time around because, uh, sorry, Golden, Golden Point won't be able to get it forward because Montmorency have it. Although they were stripped of the ball, kick now comes forward for the Dragons. Bounces over a couple, trying to gather his Madeline. And it could be all wrapped up here. Umpire says play on. The non-officiating umpires come in and said it was a high, and it's going to go the way of Montmorency in the back pocket. Far side of the ground, 15 minutes gone. 27 points the margin in favour of the Magpies. They send it up along the line. Mark nearly taken. Couldn't get be completed there, though, by Madison. Golden point with the numbers. Send it back in towards the middle. Chapman gathering, kicking forward. No one able to bring the mark down from the contest. Golden point working forward. Gordon in a bit of space, has a shot. Nelly Mark in the oh. goal square played on, but it was ill-directed there by Simpson. And just a minor score. Their first one for the day, though. They're one behind Golden Point. Montmorency, 4-3-27 after 16 minutes in this first term. Well, that one was almost a certain goal to Simpson. And great work by Clow for Montmorency. Just putting the pressure on just as she kicked it. 
Gave her a uh, fairly hefty bump, taking her to the ground, and I think she's just clutching at that uh, shoulder at the moment. Yeah, she's uh, in a bit of pain from the facial expressions that she's pulling, so not looking good for uh, Golden Point. Almost looking like a uh, bit of a dislocation, but the, the ball has been brought back into play. I thought they might have stopped it just till she was out of the area, but here comes Golden Point towards goal. And stopped again by Clow in the last line of defence. She will clear to the outer side. Wide open ball now, setting it up for a foot race. And uh, Ashley Bays on the outer side, trying to run it down and keep on pushing the ball forward. Gets it to that outer side wing. And Montmorency kick it in. Oh, here they go. They've got the options. Where's Hunt in the forward line? She's at forward 50, so they won't go to her on this occasion. They go long to the forward pocket, looking for Irwin. Bouncing football heads over the boundary line, and we'll have a boundary throw in. So in this grand final, Division 4, Cotton's VWFL, Montmorency, 4-3-27, leading Golden Point, one behind, one point. If you've just tuned in to VWFL Radio or live streaming via VWFL.com.au, Bailey Hunt, two goals, or three goals, I should say, in the early stages of this grand final match. Yeah, the ball went straight back over the boundary line after the throw-in, so we'll get another one deep inside attacking 50 for Montmorency, 17 and a half minutes gone. They get the tap out of the ruck. They might favour here too. They kick... It will be turned over. Golden point. We'll get a clearing kick out of defence. Only as far, though, was Webb, who was tackled. Big pack of players around the ball at the moment. Handball comes out to Lachlan, who sends it to the hot spot. I thought it was a mark. Umpire said play on. And on the last line of the defence, taking the mark is Golden point. They send it out to this commentary side of the ground. Golden point. Hughes couldn't gather it. Now picking it up is Irwin. Fires the handball over the top. We're looking for Hunt. The ball go drift across the boundary line and out of play. 18 and a half minutes gone. 26 points the margin in favour of Montmorency. And uh, it suggests that they might have been in control in the early stages of this uh, first term. They have. Golden Point just uh, struggling, as we've mentioned, to get it outside of that defensive 50 mark. And uh, same again. Occurring, trying to get a clearing kick, uh, Clark. Handball's on now, they move it through Wilkes. Along the outer side, Smith leads in the race for the football. This is better play by Golden Point. Centering kick in towards the middle, the bounce does not favour them at all. Goes back towards Montmorency's goal. To the right of screen, handball comes out the back. Montmorency, oh, great smother off the boot by Golden Point. And they come away with the football. Good kick. Mark Payne in the end. The umpire a bit quick on the whistle. Clearing kick by Alexander. To the outer side. This is better play. Short, sharp kicking. Wilkes goes up towards right half forward, but misdirected kick. Well done by Golden Point to uh, intercept. And it's Wilkes again inside forward 50. Foot race now going back towards goal. Soccering it along. Montmorency got the numbers going back towards goal. And the goal has been kicked. Oh, great soccer goal by Cubitt. And she has put through the first four golden points. A great result late in this first term. Oh, perfect result. <laughs> in perfect timing. It is quarter time. And Montmorency, 4-3-27. They dominated the early stages of the game to golden point, 1-1-7. Goal kickers at quarter time. It is Bailey Hunt with three goals and Tennille Webb with one for Golden Point. Beck Cubitt with the... It was a great start to the grand final game by the Magpies. Montmorency kicked the first four goals of the game and then it was a late goal to Beck Cubitt that put Golden Point on the board. Will it be the goal that sparks them during this second term? It was a... As the siren stands to start the second term, it was great ball movement, which uh, we hadn't seen from uh, Golden Point in the early stages of the match. And an inspirational goal as well, late in that term, to keep them in the hunt. They're down by 20 points, the Dragons, as the ball's near the centre circle still, and we'll get a secondary ball up. 
Opening stages of this second term. 4-3-27 plays 1-1-7. Montmorency up by 20 points. Umpires picked out a free kick and it's going to go the way of Golden Point and they'll go forward through Cummins. Sends the kick to the half forward area. Good play by the Dragons. They kick it inside attacking 50. Ball bounced over the back of the pack. Montmorency trying to mop up here. Flynn was holding the ball and a free kick will go the way of the Dragons. Point blank for them. And it is Madeline. Madeline Clark comes in. Good kick off the boot. And that's their second one. And uh, if you take into, con well, if you remove the quarter time, Blake, that's two in a minute for, uh, <laughs> for the golden point. Madeline Clark with her first for the afternoon. And that uh, sees the margin drop back to 14 points. 4 3, 27 plays, 2 1, 13. The Magpies up by 14. I like your way of thinking, Matthew, that uh, two in two, oh, there, two in a minute, that's. Uh, Exactly the way I think the coach would like uh, the Golden Point Dragons to be to be thinking as well, and they want to carry that momentum into the second term. They've done exactly that, so what can they do now? They hadn't been able to extract it from the centre clearances during the first quarter. And they obviously did it in the opening stages of this second term. Anthony Stangitz and Matthew Cox with you this afternoon for this Division Four Grand Final match. Flash of heads there in the contest. We'll see a free kick going the way of Montmorency. So it will be Webb. One goal in the first term. Took the limelight away from uh, Bailey Hunt who kicked three. So they go goalward once again. Don Point trying to clear the football to half back. Bounce didn't help Alexander on that occasion. Still at defensive 50 for Golden Point. They push it forward. Gordon trying to get it. Kick away. Blythe. Good work from Montmorency. I'll try and push it forward now. Lachlan. Oh, great tackling that time by Metcalf. They go inside forward 50 once again. Montmorency. Race for the football. Leading in the race is Lachlan. She kicked five goals the last two last time these two teams met. She's yet to get her first, but she kicks it long and marking it is Beck Irwin in the left forward pocket. And she'll have a chance to get the reply for the Magpies. Uh, continually pushing the ball forward as they did during the first term. Beck Irwin. Let's see what she can do. Lines it up. Started left, stayed left off the left boot. And through four, one behind. So it moves the Magpies on to 4-4-28. Leading Golden Point 2-1-13. As the ball comes back into play. Dragons on the break through the corridor. Ball doesn't bounce favourably for them. And Montmorency have it. They were tackled. Got the kick away at the last minute. It'll be turned over. Almost a mark there. It's at Golden Point. Play on set. The umpire bursting through the pack there was Blythe. Kicks it. Oh, very close to the boundary line. And it'll roll out in front of Setches. And we'll get a boundary throw in. Just inside attacking 50 for the Magpies. They're up by 15 points. Three and a half minutes in to this second term of the Division 4 Grand Final. Montmorency trying to get a clearing kick out of the pack. Worked well. Kick off the ground from Irwin. Went straight into the Golden Point defenders. Big pack around the pool. Golden Point get it up and under. Kick away. Turned it over. Having a shot on goal there was Leeton. It'll bounce. Hitting the uh, behind post. So we'll get a boundary throw in right beside it. Deep inside attacking 50 for the Magpies. i got to say, Matthew, this is one thing I like about the VWFL. You look down the other end of the ground and there's actually players in the opposition's forward 50, which is fantastic to see back to the old style football where players will actually stay in their positions and we're not all flooding inside the forward 50 of the, uh, the opposition. Ball off hands and goes through for one behind. So peppering the goals, Montmorency in the early stages of this second term. Five, four, uh, 34. Just, uh, we're just waiting for an update on that scoreboard, but Golden Point 2 1 13. As uh, actually, I think it uh, might be four goals. Yeah, I've only, 
Got four on my uh, score sheet. Yeah, four goals, five, 29 to two, one, 13. As Montmorency again keeping the ball inside their forward 50. Lachland uh, has come into this game in the second term, starting to get a, a bit of possession. Get the handball out. Now they'll go deep inside their forward 50. The right boot torpedo inside the forward 50 arc, trying to get her hands on it. Setches. Unable to do so, taken to ground. And we will have a ball up uh, 45 metres out from the Montmorency goal. And umpire sends it back underway. Montmorency fire the handball out of the pack. It came to Turnbull. No one able to take a clean mark, though. It'll be wrapped up. They're trying to feed it out. The Dragons defenders. It pops out the back of the pack. Montmorency have the numbers. A kick on goal there from Irwin. And it puts their first through for this quarter. And they go to 5-5-35. Golden point, 2-1-13. A margin of 22 points. A nice goal there from Beck Irwin moving into a bit of space and having a clear shot on goal. Well, she looked a lot better on the run than she did from the set shot. The uh, set shot previously didn't look too pretty. But on the run, she really knew how to barrel it on that left boot and uh, made sure... It went over the goal umpire's head, so good reply by Montmorency. They move on to 5-5-35, 2-1-13, golden point. They'll try to clear it out of the middle again. Ball the call from the umpire, so good pressure from golden point. And they'll go inside forward 50 for only the second time this term. Long bomb inside that forward 50 arc. Almost the Falcon for Cubit. Comes to the back of the pack. They've got the numbers, Flynn. Now towards goal, it's uh, out of bounds on the full. And it'll be a free kick going the way of Montmorency. <laughs> so they'll try and clear it now. Good defensive numbers by Golden Point. Trying to keep it inside forward 50. Bounce eludes uh, Golden Point, but here comes the runner, Bly. Will she be run down or find her target? No, she kicks in towards the middle, but she hasn't got any targets. Perfect opportunity if the bounce suits. Golden Point cross gets it off to a teammate in Cummins. Cummins long, lurking at the back of the pack. Cubit, oh, the bouncing ball hits the post. It cleared the pack, went goalward. Cubit was in two minds whether to leave it or uh, go for it. She left it. She did, did the right team thing, but it just <laughs> bounced unfavourably for her. It did. So another behind on the board for Golden Point. 2-2-14. Two, two, they trail Montmorency 5-5-35. Eight minutes gone in this second term of the Division 4 Grand Final. And Golden Point are going to keep it inside. Attacking 50. They go for a bit of a run. Handball was smothered. Close to the boundary line. Doubling backs Cummins. Desperate stuff from Cummins. It'll be all wrapped up. We'll get a ball up. In the forward pocket, probably about 30 metres out from the Dragons' goal. They kept it in after that uh, kick in from Montmorency. And they're just working around here, the Dragons. Smothered kick close to the boundary line. Now Montmorency able to kick it on to half-back. Gathering it for them will be Turnbull. She sends a kick in, board looking for Schultz. Has a bit of time to gather, runs around her opponent, then gets a kick on its way into the middle. It bounces over the top of the pack in front position. There was Watson. Gets a kick looking at half forward and a nice mark taken here by Montmorency. They wheel around and kick it straight inside, attacking 50. Ball sits very nicely for Schultz. Dodges a bit of traffic. It was an ordinary disposal though. And Golden Point, they had the numbers, couldn't work it though. Under all sorts of pressure now, a clearing kick out of defence. We turn straight over in the middle. A mark taken by Montmorency. The bounce wasn't very well when she went for a run. Kicks it to the half forward flank, mark dropped by the Maggies. Ball on the deck, gathering here will be Webb. She sends it inside, attacking 50. It's all the Dragons though, and taking a mark out there. It looks like it was Wilkes. Yeah, I'd like to see a few more uh, overhead marks. Quite a few of the girls today trying to take the chest marks and uh, they've just been dropping those chest marks. There's been a few unforced errors, but it, on a number of occasions they haven't had the pressure on them. But as we saw at uh, half back on that occasion, the good overhead mark taken. So hopefully we'll see a few more of the girls uh, repeat that throughout the rest of the match. Ball at half forward for Golden Point. 
currently trailing by 21 points. Good tap down by Golden Point. Halstead. The free kick going the way of Halstead now. Handballs it on. Gets it off to Gordon now on the left boot. Long. Will it go over the back of the pack? It does. Which way does the ball bounce this time? And again, unfavourably for Golden Point. They just need a break in this second term. Another behind on the board, and they move on to 2-3-15 uh, to Montmorency, 5-5-35. Anthony Stangitz and Matthew Cox with you here this afternoon for the Cotton's VWFL Division 4 Grand Final match. And Montmorency kicking in, back into play. A nice mark taken here by Lachlan. Inside defensive 50 for Montmorency after 10 and a half minutes in this second term. The ball very close to the boundary line. Kept in play there by Ashley Bays. Now, oh, big hit there. Umpire said play on. Kick inside attacking 50 for the Dragons. They've got the numbers if they can work it cleanly. Handball comes out of the pack. They might be able to get one. Lachlan's in there. And it could be all wrapped up. Montparenti fight it way out through Blythe. Gets the handball away to Grot out onto that half back flank for the Magpies but leading the foot race is Hughes for the Dragons, oh, she work. wheels around her opponent and then kicks it to the hot spot and a mark will be taken though by Lachlan of the Maggies in the back pocket she kicks it up back to that half, full, half back flank on that far side of the ground and a mark taken out there by Bays Madison Bays and a short kick, two on one in favour of the Magpies. Now support comes in for the Dragons. Drag there was Zoe Clark. I thought it might have been high, and it was. Good pick up from the umpire. So the Dragons, they've locked it inside their attacking 50 for the best part of this quarter ball. Very close to the boundary line. It's kept in play by Montmorency. No one was there to end support, and the Dragons, they were fumbling it forward through Cummins. And... Cummins is down behind play. Montmorency should be able to feed it out of defence. Couple of handballs. Schultz overran it. Golden Point with another opportunity. They wheel around a bit of traffic and then lob one up back to the hot spot. No one able to take a clean mark. It comes to Lachlan, Casey Lachlan. And it's gone out on the full. So another missed opportunity there for the Golden Point. They're 20 points down at the 13-minute mark of this Division 4 Grand Final. I know they're missing opportunities, but I'm quite enjoying the game of Golden Point at this stage. They're taking the game on. They're taking risks. They're three goals down. They know that uh, they need to get it within striking distance at half-time. And uh, especially the game at the moment of uh, Abby Cummings, uh, or Cummins, I should say, uh, She's taking the game on. We saw her put her body on the line just before. Kicks it inside forward, 50 now. Alexander can't take the mark. Opportunity to clear again for Montmorency. But, uh, yeah, golden point. They've, they've almost looked like they've uh, flicked the switch and just gone, we need to take this game on now. Take a few risks. Um, they're not doing the individual things. They're, they're looking for teammates as well. And it's quite enjoyable to watch. And uh, Montmorency under plenty of pressure currently in this game. As the ball inside the centre square. Opportunity for Golden Point to go back inside their forward 50, which it uh, has been for the last five minutes of this game. Good one-on-one -on -one contest. Goody trying to get the ball away. Now Cunningham. Plenty of players over the football. Good clearing kick. That was by Wilkes again. She's been good in this match so far for Golden Point. Handball came out from Hallett. Now here comes the run of Montmorency. Blythe. This is where they're good on the build-up. Watson up towards half four. They find the targets in Irwin. Handballs it over. Tool boil. Long towards goal. And uh, good to see that the ball is uh, not favouring either side with the bounce going at uh, right angles to the left-hand side. And another behind on the board for Montmorency. They move on to 5-6-36. Uh, leading Golden Point who are 2-3-15 and uh, we've ticked over nearing the 15 minute mark of this second turn. As Montmorency, they've now trapped it inside attacking 50 this time around and the ball dribble over the boundary line and out of play. In fact the umpires 
picked out a free kick and it's going to go the way of Golden Point. And taking the free big free kick will be Mick Carf. Just adding to your point that you were making a little earlier that it looks like they've got rid of their nerves now, the Dragons, and they're starting to play the football that we know that they're capable of. Kick was poor though. Webb was all wrapped up. A high tackle has been paid and a free kick will go the way of Webb. Probably about 45 metres out on a 45 degree angle. She's going to pop one up. It's a good looking kick off the boot. Will fall short. Bounces over the back of the pack and again that bounce. We'll see it go through for a minor score. They've kicked one goal for this quarter Montmorency. 5-7 37 plays 2-3-15. A margin of 22 points after 15 and a half minutes. Ball back into play. Good opportunity for Golden Point to clear, but it's the numbers with Montmorency. Over the football now, Hallett. Back inside forward, 50. Pressure on cross in defence for Golden Point. Umpire calls play on. Now a chance to clear. It's uh, no one on that outer side wing for them, so... Not too many options, and the turnover goes the way of Montmorency inside forward 50. Looking for the high fly, Irwin can't take it. Ball comes down, fighting for the football, and the umpire says, uh, give the ball to me. I think her intensity has been uh, shorts up in the forward line for Montmorency, trying to keep the ball in play. Great work by, uh, on that occasion, Nichols. Ball at the forward, inside forward 50, but they've uh, set up the wall and Blythe. Wayward kick though, and the ball will head towards the boundary line. Can Blythe get her own uh, football? Yes, she does, and she'll put it team. No, great tackling pressure. Ball the call, and great work by Golden Point on the outer side. They will. They'll get the free kick on the halfback flank, and they're going to kick it in to the middle. It's a risky kick. It might come off. Trying to gather is Zoe Clark. Works her way around a bit of traffic, then kicks in in the middle. Nice mark taken by Madeline Clark. Clark to Clark. In kick was poor, though. Will be turned over the Magpies. Umpire says it was a throw, so a free kick will go the way of the Dragons. Gordon has it. Kicks it inside, attacking 50. A one-on-one -on -one contest. And at the back, taking the mark is Clow for the Magpies. They're 22 points up. Kick was ordinary. Went straight to Lachlan who goes for a run, kicks it to the tip of the goal square and a mark will be taken here by Fisher directly in front, right on the paintwork of the goal square after 17 and a half minutes. This for their third goal, the Dragons. Give them confidence. Certainly will. Fisher comes in, it's offline. And just another minor score. Had full scoring opportunities this quarter goal point and they've kicked one goal three. Yeah, I just, just thought on that occasion uh, Fisher could have settled a bit more, taken her time with it and uh, because they've really needed that goal after a number of misses this term, getting that opening goal and uh, the misses after that. Here's another opportunity for them though. They go long, two on one contest, three on one contest and they get it. Shannon and then Alexander Puts it through in that much needed third goal for Golden Point. We've got a game on our hands. They move on now to 3 5 23 to Montmorency 5 6 36. And uh, what a great quarter of football we've seen from Golden Point. Finally rewarded for effort in this uh, Cotton's VWFL Division 4 Grand Final. And uh, the margin back to just 13 points, uh, Matthew Cox. It is uh, an interesting contest here at Coburg City Oval, this Division 4 Grand Final. A free kick in the middle will go the way of Golden Point. They've only got about 45 seconds left in this second term, though, to make any impact on the scoreboard. The kick forward, bounce doesn't favour anybody. Big pack around the ball on the 50 metre arc. Umpire will call for it. 19 and a half minutes gone in this second term. Are they a chance for a goal? If they can work it quickly and clearly, not after that hit out though. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> yes, although they've got it back in their hands now. A wobbly kick comes to the half forward flank. Bounce doesn't sit favorably. And uh, as Anthony called it, it is half time <laughs> here at Coburg City Oval. The Golden Point Dragons, they're 3-5, 23. 
to Montmorency, 5, 6, 36. A margin of 13 points. And uh, Golden Point, they kept in the contest in that uh, second term. Yeah, they had goals that uh, bookended the quarter. So they kicked the opening goal within the uh, first 30 seconds. So uh, the last one, and they've continued to trend the last goal of the quarter. And then they kicked the first goal and then uh, getting the last quarter as well. So you'd have to say uh, Montmorency, or both teams, not taking their opportunities during the second term. They both had uh, plenty of chances, but an opportunity where Montmorency could have gone well ahead. Uh, Golden Point put the pressure on. As we mentioned during the call, started uh, taking the game on, which I enjoyed seeing. And, and that last goal that they, they got, you just saw it was a three-on-one contest in the goal square. So everyone, as soon as the ball's gone forward, inside forward 50, they've pushed forward towards the goal square. And uh, they're up and about leaving the field here at, uh, at half time. They certainly trapped... We're uh, half away as the siren sounds of crowning our second VWFL Cotton's Grand Final Premier for season 2014. And Matthew Cox and Anthony Stang is with you for the second half. Matthew, get us underway. And the ball is just forward of the centre circle for Montmorency. Trying to work it out through a series of handballs. Getting close to the corner of the centre square. And now Golden Point. They're able to strip the Magpies off the ball. Get a kick. Heck, another couple of handballs away. A short little kick came from Morby. Didn't go very far, though. Montmorency able to cut it off. Hockland was in there. Kicks it to half forward. No one able to take a clean mark. Bounces favourably for Montmorency. They almost were away. Well done. Good defensive pressure from Golden Point. All wrapped up. Sprawling handball comes out of the pack. A wonky old kick off the boot. Was Nelly stopped? Montmorency get it. They have a shot on goal. It's bounced right on the boundary line. Umpire says it's out on the full side. Free kick will go the way of Golden Point Dragons in the back pocket. Broadcast side of Coburg City Oval here this afternoon. The Dragons down by 15 points. I must say, uh, hasn't been the best... Uh afternoon for commentators this is about only the second time we've seen the ball right in front of our commentary position all afternoon but great playing on by golden point and we mentioned that that was a highlight of their game during the second term and they did it once again just playing on from the uh, free kick tap down alexander goes in towards the middle goody leading in the race for the football under plenty of pressure from blythe and taken too high, and it will be a free kick. I should say Hallett, not Blythe. Couldn't see the number one with the uh, the pigtail hanging down the back. And she, Hallett goes inside forward 50. Drop mark by Golden Point. We've seen a few of those uh, this afternoon. Good defensive pressure. Getting in the hard tackle, Cummins. And she has lifted her game after quarter time. Tap down. Alexander again. Kicked a goal during the second term for Golden Point Hunt. She loves this end of the ground. She snaps it. No. And uh, she's uh, got an even afternoon so far. I think she's kicked three goals, three for the day so far. That was probably the one where you'd uh, like to see her on the left boot. She tried to uh, snap it back off the right and threw for another behind. So Montmorency... Moving on to five goals, 8.38 to Golden Point, 3-4-22. And Montmorency going to get another opportunity there because Setch has got it from the kick in. About 35 metres out on a 45-degree angle. She comes in. It was a good-looking kick. It's going to fall short. Big pack around the ball. Golden Point with the numbers. Metcalf was in there. Umpire will call for it. In the goal square, favouring the Magpies. They're up by 16 points. Tap out. One again by Alexander. Spraying shot will go out on the full in the far pocket. And uh, Hunt, another one. Another missed opportunity from Hunt. Yeah, sticks her uh, margin at 3-3 and one out on the full. <laughs> <laughs> As the kick comes in from Cunningham very close to the boundary line. It didn't matter because the mark was taken by Montmorency. They send it straight back towards the hot spot. Hunt again's in there. Another snap around the body was smothered. 
Montmorency with the numbers, try to get a clear possession away. Golden Point under all sorts of pressure. Kick around the body was cut off. Well done by Cross. She probably dropped the ball. Umpire said play on. It went through for a minor score. So uh, two behinds so far in this quarter to Montmorency. They move to 5-9, 39. Golden Point at 3-4, 22. A 17-point margin in favour of the Magpies. Yeah, I think the umpire just blindsided on that occasion. Could have been called too high. Uh, the umpire just couldn't see past the, the players in front. So I thought uh, almost too high by Bailey Hunt on that occasion. Here's another opportunity for Montmorency. They go long to the goal square. Good overhead mark. And Cummins, she plays on again. Here she comes, bouncing outside a defensive 50. Great play. Her teammate can't take it, but Cummins again buttering up. Oh, great tackle. She's just trying to will her team over the line here and pushing them forward again. The bounce will suit Golden Point. Great work. Oh, great tackling by Webb. Ball the call. It was a two-on-one contest. And uh, Babetti didn't have too many chances. And an opportunity now for Tom Renzi to go forward. Tull Boyle pushing them forward. Handball came out from Cross to the back of the pack. Hughes. Another opportunity for Hughes. Gets her handball away. Misses the target, but they've got the numbers. Golden point. They'll go backwards. Cummins again. Clearing kick. Two on two contest. Who will the uh, bounce of the ball suit? Out of the hands of Gordon. Now, Montmorency. Rockland held up. And you just feel, Matt, that the uh, intensity of this game has risen over the last few minutes. Yeah, as you would expect in a grand final, it's all on the line. A trip has been paid the way of Golden Point. Haven't been able to get out of this defensive 50 area for a while. And a free kick will go the way of Jordan Chapman. On the half-back flank commentary side of the ground, she sends it to centre half-back. And Mark will be taken out there by Zoe Clark. She plays on, takes a bounce, now kicks it forward. Kick was misdirected. Alexander made to double back. It's turned over. Coming forward was Bays of Montmorency. Kicks it towards Hunt. She's fumbled. Now soccering it along the ground. Has to be clean here. Shrugs off her opponent. Dances around another. Hits it up to the hot spot. A mark. Nearly taken. Umpire said play on. Good contested ball out there at the moment from both sides. Picking it up here for Montmorency was Barker. Sends the handball off to her teammate in Blythe who had a shot on goal. It's missed. And that's three points this quarter now for Montmorency. They move to 5-10-40. Golden point, a 3-4-22. It's three straight kicks, 18 points. I tell you what, Abby Cummins, I don't know how she's going to make it to the final siren because she's putting everything on the line. She was butt buttering up in defence again. And she uh, just got her hand on uh, the player kicking for goal for Montmorency and, and just put her off at the final moment. So that one going through for a behind. But the ball now out of bounds on the full. There will be a free kick going the way of Montmorency. They are five goals. Uh, just have the scoreboard update. 5-10-40 to 3-4-22. We've had a lost uh, football. Just waiting for the uh, young lad on the other side of the fence to bring the ball back into play. He's done so now. Got his first kick on the board. And now an opportunity. Looking back towards the goal square. Bailey Hunt just standing on the edge of the square. That's where they'll go. They'll go to the top of the goal square. Arms go up. Here comes Golden Point. They go back into trouble. Dangerous kick. And they've been made to pay. Goal going the way of Montmorency. And uh, putting through their sixth goal of the afternoon. They move on to 6-10-46 to Golden Point 3-4-22. And uh, their first goal of this third term. 24 points in the margin now. A bit of a buffer for Montmorency. Golden point. They need to get the next one. And very similar to the first term, the Magpies have controlled it inside their attacking 50. So the umpire gets things back underway 
in the middle. Golden Point trying to work it clear. They are all wrapped up. Umpire said play on. The handball comes out of the pack. Schultz missed it for Montmorency. She did well to stop it. Umpire will come in and call for it. Forward side of the centre circle for the Dragons. Both Ruckman missed the contest. Handball comes out in favour of Montmorency. They have the numbers if they're able to work it cleanly here. And they do. This is Haylett. Kicks it inside, attacking 50. Bounces over the top of a couple of players. Now working back. The golden point was Smith. And she kicks it into a bit of space. Madison Bays is running out to get, greet it. She couldn't gather. Now she did kick around the body. Cunningham had a kick. It was into trouble though. Montmorency have it back in their possession. And another shot on goal has missed. And again from Bailey Hunt. Number of scoring opportunities for her this afternoon. <laughs> and she continually can't get it through those two big sticks. But I suppose the uh, pleasing aspect for Golden Point is they're, they're still in this contest. We could have seen Montmorency really take control of this game. Uh, they've put through their fourth behind of the quarter, so they've kicked one four to uh, Golden Point, yet to add to their halftime scoreline. So Montmorency has been dominating, and you can uh, see the trees in the background and the wind really picking up towards the uh, grandstand end of the ground. As you can see from this kick from the boundary line oh. and drifted back, just didn't have the uh, long distance on it and threw for another behind. So that's six behinds this term, one goal six. Montmorency has kicked. They move on to 6 12 48 to Golden Point 3 4 22. And Golden Point are in all sorts of trouble in the back pocket. And there was a push in the back. Getting the free kick will be Chapman for the Dragons. And a 50 metre penalty, too, for a bit of lip from the, the Magpies. In fact, it'll only be a 25 metre penalty. So Chapman. Off the half-back flank now for the Dragons. Plays on and then kicks it wide. Looking for a target. The boundary line might beat him. Well played there by the Dragons. They kept it in play. Montmorency. They've got the numbers. Well tackled there was Setches. And umpire says holding the ball. A free kick will go the way of Golden Point. Still half-back flank. They lob one up to the centre wing. Pack flew, no one able to take the mark. At the bottom of the pack was Goody. Fired the handball across to Cummins, who got it further afield. Now it's turned over. Flynn for the Magpies. Sends it back to the centre wing position. No one able to take the mark. Setches in there. Desperate stuff from Setches. Umpire says, I'll have it. Centre wing position, commentary side of the ground. It's 26 points at the margin. 6 12, 48 plays, 3 4, 22. Ball up, broadcast side wing. Good to see the ball out on our uh, commentary side of the ground. Kick around the corner. Golden Point is uh, needing a score this term to have a chance going into the final term. Currently trailing by 26 <laughs> points. So a uh, match high lead currently for Montmorency. And that breeze. They'll come home with it in the final turn, but they're only able to kick two goals with it as Lachlan goes long. Will it go over the back of the pack? Watch the bounce. The door opens up, but a free kick's been paid. Oh, now the umpire calls play on. Beck Irwin was just waiting for the signal in the goal square. She was running into the open goal and just stopped because the umpire's called the free kick. But in the end, she's ran into the open goal. And another one on the board for Montmorency. It is their seventh goal on the board. And they now move on to 7 12 54 to Golden Point 3 4 22. And that's one of the funniest things I've seen in this game so far, Matthew C Cox. Certainly one of the entertaining <laughs> things paused for about 30 seconds, which is what it felt like in the goal square, waiting for the umpire to signal advantage and eventually puts. Their second for the quarter through. Ball back in the middle. Dragons trying to work it out. They'll get a clearing kick. Howlett favour. Unable to take the mark there was the Montmorency defender. 
Works it well, gives the handball off to a teammate. This is Setchers, works around a bit of traffic, fires the handball off, it missed the target. Coming through with Zoe Clark, sends it into the middle. It was looking for a target. Lachlan able to get the turnover. Handball straight into the hands though of Alexander who sends it forward for the Dragons. Foot race out there, Lachlan backing up her desperate stuff. In fact, she was so desperate she overran it. They dive on the footy. And umpires picked out a free kick. It's going to go the way of Golden Point and the way of Ashley Wilkes. Centre wing position, far side of the ground, sends it into the middle. It'll be turned over, though, and a mark will be taken by the Magpies. They send it towards centre half forward. No one able to take the mark. Bounces favourably for Hunt. Works away way about and rid of traffic. Steadies, sends it to the goal square, and again it bounces through for another behind for Hunt. That's 3-5, I think, now. Uh, uh, correct. Three behinds during this term. So, uh, another, a couple of wasted opportunities there for Hunt. Sees the margin go out to 33 points. 7-13-55. Plays 3-4-22. As the golden point kick. And it'll be turned over because it went out of bounds without anyone touching it. So, the free kick will go the way of Hunt. Well, and it's not her favourite pocket. She, she likes the, the left-hand pocket. Let's see what she can do. The breeze should help her here. No, she's gone for the option. Not the best option. I think she should have just gone the shot. She was well within striking distance. Golden Point now under plenty of pressure if they have, as they have been all this third term. They need to try and get it out. Oh, great smother off the boot of Webb. Now an opportunity. Webb. Well, she smothers off the boot this time. Great football by both teams, but too high the call from the umpire. And the free kick will go the way of Danny Smith. I'm sure she will have a shot towards goal uh, from this position this time. She might have learnt from uh, Bailey Hunt. You'd think just with the breeze, you'd start it out probably left towards the uh, behind post. And she started it right, and it stays right. Another behind on the board as they kick there. What are we up to now? Seventh behind of the term. And they move on to 7-14-56 to Golden Point. 3-4-22. And really for Montmorency, this game should be uh, done and dusted. But uh, Golden Point still kept in with a chance if they can get a score on the board during this third term and uh, they desperately need it now. Well they've been doing all the attacking this quarter, the Magpies just haven't been able to convert it on the scoreboard they're going to get it here on the half forward flank, umpire calls play on, sends the kick into the forward pocket, no one able to take the mark, battling there is Irwin couldn't gather, now a kick comes in board for the Magpies it didn't sit favourably for Watson golden point, keep it in play and should get the clearing kick out of the back pocket. Didn't go very far. There's a whistle. And not quite sure. It's going to go the way of Golden Point. Not entirely sure what it was before. But the Dragons will get it. And now they kick it to centre half back. And a nice mark taken there by Gordon. Georgia Gordon decides to play on quickly. They need to move it and need to get a score before three-quarter time to the Dragons. Coming out and taking the mark is Clark. She sends it to the centre wing position. Gathering for, for dra the Dragons was Lachlan. Fires the kick into the middle. No one able to get clean possession. There was a high bump and the umpires picked it out. A free kick will go the way of Golden Point and the way of Barbetti. Just assessing the options. Gives the handball off to Alexander who kicks it inside attacking 50. It bounced over the pack. Running on to it is Qubit. Can she do something with it? She's all wrapped up. Handball comes out of the pack in favour of the Magpies. It comes to Webb. Webb gives the handball off to her teammate who kicks it. It's a risky kick. It'll bounce towards the boundary line. Will it stay in play? It won't. And the umpire says throw it in. 34 points the margin in favour of the Magpies. They're 7 14 56 to 3 4 22 in this Division 4 Grand Final. If you're looking at some of the better players today for Montmorency, I know we've talked about Lachlan and obviously Bailey Hunt in the forward line, but uh, Cloud down in defence, I think she's made the most of her opportunities when the balls come down there. Uh, in the one-on-one -on -one contest uh, just before that time with uh, Cubit, uh, she won out and I think uh, she's really held down the uh, full-back position and uh, 
won that posse as a uh, penalty downfield. Well, there was a push in the back and then there was a bit of an altercation between the two players. So the uh, umpire was right on it. So Cummins. In fact, it was the non-officiating umpire at that point in time that uh, paid the free kick. Boots it long to the top of the goal square. They need a major here to get back into this game as we count down towards three-quarter time and the mark taken on the last line of defence. Montmorency clears to this broadcast side wing. Webb, now they've got the numbers. They've got a three-on-one contest. Who will the ball favour? It's the way, the bounce for the Magpies. They've still got it. They're still pushing it forward. Now they kick it up towards their forward 50 line. Ball comes into the hands of Irwin. Second effort by Irwin. She's going to try and extract it, and she does. Tries to open it up for Watson. Now Golden Point. Handball. They can get it over to Irwin. She shepherds. Opens the door for Ma uh, Bays. And comes to the back of the pack. Here's an opportunity. Oh, missed kick. Good defensive effort. The crowd calling for the free kick. They didn't find it. Ball the call now as two Golden Point players down. And it will be a free kick right after the siren at three quarter time. And guess who has the ball in her hands? Bailey Hunt. She's had a wretched run with accuracy during this third term. But at three quarter time, she makes no mistake at all, adding her fourth goal uh, of the game. She's even the ledger again at 4 4 for the match so far. And at three quarter time, so we'll keep an eye on the couple of Golden Point players down behind playing the goal square. Montmorency, eight goals, 14. And they've got the breeze, and uh, it will be a big challenge for them. They've only got the 22 points up until three-quarter time, and they've got to double their score, basically, to uh, to get the victory. Well, yeah, even triple their score to get the victory. They're going to need a, a miracle, although they've got it working forward out of this first contest here at Coburg City Oval. It is a 40-point margin in favour of the Magpies. And now they're trying to work it through the centre of the ground. Golden Point in there, working their way around a bit of traffic. Handball comes to Gordon. Gordon sends it further afield. It finds Webb. She kicks it to half forward for the Magpies. Parker doing her best out there. Kicks it wide, looking for a target. Following up her works, Barker. She taps it on forward, only in favour, though, of the Dragons. They gather. Well, the kick, though... There was no kick because it was a fresh air shot. Dragons trying to work it on that halfback flank. Umpire has pinged holding the ball by the looks of things. And a free kick's going to go the way of the Magpies. And the way of Barker, who has been pivotal in that passage of play. Just outside attacking 50 on the forward flank. Far side of the ground. The kick comes into the pocket, gathering... It looked like it was Hunter. She gave the handball off. And the ball very close to that boundary line. Kept it in play. Barker again involved. And it finally goes over the boundary line and out of play. We've gone a minute and a half in this final term here at Coburg City Oval. 8-14-62 plays 3-4-22. A 40-point margin in favour of the Magpies. So... Kick forward, mark taken by uh, Montmorency. And I'll have a chance to uh, try to extend their lead. They go long now, that was through Hallett. And juggling the mark down forward. I think that's uh, Emily Nichols in the right forward pocket. We haven't seen too much of uh, her today. But an opportunity to Get her name on the score sheet. She handballs. Going to run into trouble. And through four, one behind. So they're off to a start in this final term. Not the start that Golden Point were after. And uh, 8 15 63 to Golden Point 3 4 22 as Golden Point go through the middle of the ground. Yeah, although the kick could be turned over here. Hunter further up the ground. In this quarter, kicks it back to the centre half forward. 
Dragons with the numbers work their way around a bit of traffic and then we'll kick it on to the far wing. Into space. It's a foot race. At the moment, it's being won by Blythe. She gathers, keeps it in play on that far side of the ground. Gives it to Hunter. Blythe gets it back. Did well. Kicks it up along the line, looking for a target. Bounce sits well there for Turnbull. Gets it further afield, looking for Smith. Takes the mark. Just working along nicely at the moment. The Maggies. Hunter takes a nice mark. Half forward flank. 50 metres out. Plays on immediately. Kicks it into the pocket. No one able to take a mark. The Dragons with the numbers in the back pocket. Scrappy footy down there at the moment. And umpire will call for it. About 30 metres around from the Magpies goal. They're up by 41 points after three and a half minutes in this final term of the Division 4 Grand Final. Bit of pace used there by the Dragons. They get a couple of handballs away and then a clearing kick in the middle. Could be turned over. Nearly a mark there by Ashley Bays. She couldn't complete it, though. Magpies lucky with the numbers. Good spoil there, though, from the Dragons. In the centre of the ground. Now kick forward comes from Webb. Mark, though, will be taken on centre-half back by the Dragons. They get a kick back into the middle of the ground. Pack flew. No one able to take the mark. Coming through there was Bays. Couldn't get a clean position away. Campbell comes out of the pack. Golden point with the numbers. Running around a bit of traffic was Cummins. Gives the handball off to a teammate who sends it inside. Attacking 50. It bounces into space. Running on out there is Hughes. Gathers. Not cleanly though. Adding support out there is Cubitt. They play on. They come in board. The kick was ordinary. Cubitt uses her strength. Coming in though for... Uh, Montmorency was Clow. Sends a kick to centre half back. No one able to take the mark. Running through was Turnbull. Gets the clearing kick out of defence. Montmorency. And a throw has been pinged. So a free kick's going to go the way of the Golden Point Dragons. Five minutes gone in this final term. 41 points the margin. They desperately need a score, the Dragons. Well, here they come inside forward 50. The high up and under kick. And it was a two on one contest at ground level. Webb. Gets a sweeping handball out. For overrunning it was Goody. But Montmorency kicked to the outer side. Leading in the race for the football is Cross. Ahead of Smith. And the ball over the line. We will have a boundary throw in. 41 points the margin in this grand final match. Anthony Stangitz and Matthew Cox with you this afternoon here on VWFL Radio. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Wherever you might be listening in this afternoon. Ball goes out wide. Overrunning at that time was Cross once again. As they try and push the ball forward, Montmorency, but the ball over the line. And again, a boundary throw in. If you've uh, just tuned in, where have you been all afternoon for this grand final match? Bailey Hunt leading all goal kickers with four goals, four for the Magpies. And leading goal scorer for Golden Point, uh, all single goal scorers, Alexander Clark and Cubitt. Ball making up some ground, heading towards the Golden Point end. And uh, they need a score on the board. They haven't made uh, a score since uh, just before the half-time siren. So it's been over a quarter since they've added to their half-time score. Can they do it in this final term and uh, just challenge Montmorency in this final quarter? Kick up towards uh, centre-half forward. And the numbers all with Montmorency. They'll bounce their way through the middle of the ground. That was great work by Bays of the Madison variety. Now they've got the numbers. Trying to push the ball forward was Pinozzo. They're doing well. Desperation by Golden Point on the outer side. And we will have a, another ball up as we tick over the seven-minute mark of the final term. 41 points the margin in this Division 4 Grand Final. And uh, just to update everyone too, at the end of that third term, uh, Tracy Smith was stretched off uh, the ground and straight down into the room. So uh, we hope everything's OK for Tracy Smith, number seven for the Golden Point Dragons. Umpire has a secondary ball up. And... Uh, 
Looks like Golden Point have the ball. Umpire's picked out a free kick and it will go the way of the Dragons and it will go the way of Goody by the looks of it. In fact, no, it will go to her teammate instead who kicks it up to the centre wing position into a bit of space. Coming out to greet it there was Barbity. Did well, sends the kick forward for the Dragons. Good contest made. And umpire should call for it here and does just that. Just outside the 50 metre arc for the Golden Point Dragons. We've gone eight minutes in this final term. 41 points the margin. The clearing kick comes in favour of the Dragons. The bounce sits well for Cubitt. Does well. Juggles. Now gathers. Worked away out of traffic. Was stripped of the ball. The Dragons, though, they got a goal and through. Lachlan, low, yeah, Lachlan. So uh, she gets her first of the day and the first for Golden Point since just before half time. They moved to 4 4 28. Montmorency well in control though. 8 15 63. 35 points the margin at the 8.5 minute mark. Interesting place to play. They needed to get on the scoreboard. They need to work it a bit cleanly now, though, Dragons, if they're any chance. Yeah, there ha hasn't been pretty football by Golden Point in this final term to date, but they're on the scoreboard, and, and we've, uh, <laughs> throughout the afternoon, we've seen, seen them struggle to get those two in a row. They've um, obviously the, the last goal of the first and the uh, first of the second term was the only time that they have got two in a row, but... They need it within a, uh, a quarter, and, and that's it been the strength of Montmorency, putting on the first four goals of the game, getting two in a row during the uh, third term, and uh, now Golden Point, another opportunity to go so inside their forward 50. Ball goes back to Wilkes. Wilkes, good kick. They haven't been able to find any of the players on a lead inside their forward 50 arc uh, this afternoon, and a free kick has been found. Here's an opportunity. Cummins, long on the left boot, long to the goal square, and uh, bouncing through for another behind. 4 5 29. They trail Montmorency 8 15 63, and just ticking over to the 10 minute mark of this final term of the Cottons VWFL Division 4 Grand Final. Cloud kicks it out to the of defence. Base couldn't control it. Doubles back, little toe poke kick works in favour of the Magpies. They send it back in, board. Now they're completing the mark was Clark for the Dragons. Montmorency, though, able to work it well. Handball given off to Lockland, who was all wrapped up. Umpire says holding the ball, and it's going to be a penalty, and there could be even be a yellow card. There is. So Montmorency are going to go down a player. And the Dragons will get a 25 metre penalty as well. Which will bring them to about 40 metres out on a slight angle. In fact, make it a 45 degree angle. Not confident, wants to palm it off. Nothing working for them at the moment. Now decides to gum in. She's going to have to lob it up to the goal square. It's a good looking kick off the boot. It's just hit the woodwork though. And another minor score for Golden Point. They move to 4 6 30. Montmorency 8 15 63. 11 minutes gone in this final term of the Division 4 Grand Final. And we're just waiting for the ball to come back in over the fence. That wind has certainly picked up throughout the game because it was only a slight breeze at during the first quarter. Clow kicks it out and a nice mark taken here by Setchers. Half back flank, commentary side of the ground for the Magpies. Searches for an option, it's a floating kick. Dragons did well, they gather, bit of speed out of the pack, kick it towards half forward. Will the boundary line beat Setchers? It will. And it will go out of play just in front of our commentary position here at Coburg City Oval. 33 points, the margin, 8-15-63, plays 4-6-30. Montmorency in control, just ticked over 12 minutes in this final term. Tap out one by Simpson of the Dragons, a clearing kick out of the pack from Montmorency will find the boundary line once again. They gained about five metres that time around Montmorency. 
So we're about 60 from home for the Dragons. As the umpire sends it back into play. Tap one that time around by the Magpies. Trying to get the clearing handball there was Irwin. Comes out of the pack to Hunt. Further afield, Setches lost the ball. And umpire will call for it between wing and half forward for the Dragons. They're 33 points down, 13 minutes in to this final term. So bursting her way through again is Hallett. She's had a pretty good game today, Hallett. And one of the impressive players for Montmorency. I'd uh, hate to be the one trying to decide the best on ground today. Despite uh, the loss in this grand final, there would definitely be a couple of uh, golden point players. I think the likes of uh, Abby Cummins uh, would definitely be putting her hand up amongst the best as uh, bumped off the ball was Clark. Play on the call from the umpire. Here is Cummins. She's going to go all long. Kicked it right into Blythe. I don't know whether you'd call that a smother or not. And ball the call. And the ball going back the way of Montmorency again. I think uh, some of their best throughout the afternoon have been uh, Hallett. Uh, I think coming into the game, Brooke uh, Lachland. Uh, you'd have to be looking at Bailey Hunt after a, a big first term and the missed opportunities during the third quarter. Uh, and I know the defenders aren't often recognised in the best on ground medals, but uh, definitely number 21, uh, Dana Clough. I think she's had a great game in the uh, defensive half today for Montmorency and uh, those defenders. Uh, I know we saw uh, Brian Lake in the AFL Grand Final receive the uh, the medal last year, but uh, not too much at the local football matches do you see any of the defenders uh, get the best on ground. So maybe that might change today. Who knows? Well, those certainly are in contention because luckily for us, most of the play's been down this end of the ground. So both <laughs> defenders have been... Uh, Working very hard, both defensive units, I should say. There's the ball back into play. The Dragons trying to work it out. Handball comes. It'll be turned over, though. Montmorency and Hunt playing in defence in this quarter. Kicks it into the middle. And there's a paddock of room to move. It bounced over the couple of players running for it. They were stripped of the ball. Now to the Dragons. Desperate stuff from Setchers. And they get a handball out of the pack. Under pressure was Hallett. Got a handball across to Tol Boyle, who was called holding the ball, and a free kick will go the way of Zoe Clark. Halfback flank for the Dragons, kick it up into the middle, coming out and taking a nice grab was Gordon. Plays on immediately, kicks it to centre half forward. Goal! Two golden point players took each other out of that contest. Umpire says play on, kick back into the middle, it'll favour the Dragons. Coming through is Gordon, fires the handball off to her teammate in Hughes. Hughes on the half forward flank was well tackled and umpire will call for it. Both players getting up after uh, almost knocking each other out there. 15 and a half minutes gone. The Magpies are well in control of this. 33 points up. Not long to go in this Division 4 grand final. Dragons trying to press. The ball didn't sit favourably for them though and the Magpies with a bit of run. Hunt kicks it out of defence into a bit of space. Bounces over the top of a couple of teammates, Webb shrugged off the tackle, now takes one bounce, she's got a target forward, the kick was ordinary, it bounces though for Montmorency, they were tackled, handball came from Whittingslow, straight into the hands though of Turnbull who kicks it forward, it's a foot race into the square, how will it sit? Well for the Dragons, and they should be able to clear out of the back pocket. Well, you wouldn't have seen that happening, and uh, the Dragons just turning that one around. The numbers were against them, but they're going to be put under pressure again. Blythe goes long, goes Goldwood. Will she find uh, Hallett? She does. And Hallett to put the icing on this uh, pretty attractive cake this afternoon that Montmorency have produced. And add her name to the four Goal scorers this afternoon. Lines it up. Wasn't a pretty kick off the boot. Uh, Montmorency still a chance on the line. No, through for another behind. 8 16 64. A lead golden point 4 5 29. And uh, we are counting down 17 minutes in this final term of the Cotton's VWFL Division 4 Grand Final. 
as Setches was able to get the turnover, the kick was poor and it will bounce over the boundary line. And out of play. And it is deep inside attacking 50 for the Magpies. Umpire sends it back into play. At the back of the pack was Webb. She gathers, gives the handball off to Blythe. Blythe couldn't do much with it. Be turned over here. Trying to break through the pack was Irwin of Montmorency. The kick came out and will be marked by Barker. Right on the 50 metre arc. 45 degree angle. Loads one up to the top of the square. Nearly a mark to Golden Point. Umpire said play on. Wrapped up in a tackle there was Cummins. And the umpire says a free kick will go the way of Cummins. And she's going to kick it to this broadcast side of the ground. No one able to take the mark. Running onto it here was Wilkes. She was dispossessed of the ball. Now it's in a pack. Wilkes in again, diving on the footy. Umpire will come in and ball it up. Centre wing position commentary side of the ground. 34 points. The margin in favour of Montmorency. Not long to go left in this Division 4 Grand Final. 18 and a half minutes gone. As Golden Point might get another opportunity here. Lachlan kicked it along the ground. Good second effort by her. Put the pressure on the Montmorency defenders. And the ball will trickle over the boundary line. And out of play. Inside attacking 50 for the Dragons. They're 34 points down. Counting down towards the Premiership celebrations for Montmorency. And an opportunity for Golden Point just to get a late one on the board. Clow again. She's been fantastic in defence in the goal square. Over the football now is Webb. And trying to extract it. The umpire coming in and saying, uh, give the ball to me. And for these two new clubs to the competition, a great uh, opportunity. Both of them making it through number one to the grand final. But for Montmorency to celebrate a premiership, it's uh, going to be a great achievement for them. Hunt a long way from the goal square. <laughs> She's down the other end of the field. She won't be adding to her four goal tally for the grand final match. Will it be enough in the judges' eyes to get her over the line for the best on ground medal? <laughs> sounds and Shannon Simpson opportunity to put a uh, late one on the board umpire just telling everyone to <laughs> hop off the field we'll just wait till uh, the, the kick is taken they've got a bit eager with the celebration and he's paid a, a penalty here 25, 25 meters pen penalty so Shannon Simpson could come in uh, it sends the ball on its way. It's a goal. And, uh, well, one way to finish a the game there for uh, the Golden Point Dragons to get the final goal of a grand final. But, uh, unfortunately, they went down this afternoon by 28 points. Montmorency, 8-16-64. Play Golden Point, 5-6-36. A margin of 28 points at the final siren. Anthony Stangitz. Yeah, great result for them and uh, perfect uh, finale to their season. They dominated the early stages of the game and that was where the game was won, uh, getting the first four goals on the board um, and Golden Point just not able to come back from, from that. Uh, looking at the goal kickers and uh, major goal scorer for the day, Bailey Hunt with four goals. She ended up kicking uh, four goals, five for the afternoon. And uh, other major goal scorer, or other multiple goal scorer for Montmorency was uh, two goals to Beck Irwin and uh, singles to uh, Tennille Mary, uh, Marion Webb. And for Golden Point, it was all single goal scorers for their afternoon. And eventually, uh, Lachlan Simpson, Madeline Clark, Alexander, and Cubitt kicking one goal apiece for them. But a fitting end for Montmorency uh, with a, a victory in today's grand final. And a very dominant uh, performance as well. And uh, have capped off what has been a, a good season for them, as we were saying before, their, their first year in the competition and uh, started it successfully. A, a premiership under their belt now and can only get better for them.
Well, it was only one win from their first eight matches of the season for Montmorency and finishing the year with four straight wins to finish the home and away rounds. They eventually uh, swapped positions with Golden Point in the uh, top four of the Division Four ladder. So uh, it looked like they took their foot off the throttle uh, in that second term, but were able to come back very strongly in uh, that second half as we just got the official presentations down on the ground at the moment. Once again, the final scores, 8-16-64, plays 5-6-36, Montmorency. The grand final victors by 28 points. Just uh, congratulations going to the umpires in today's game. We often uh, quite forget the, the umpires out on the field, but I thought a, a great job by them in, in today's grand final. They uh, played the, the high tackles and uh, the best player being rewarded for Abby Cummins. She did play a great game today and uh, was clearly the uh, best on ground for Golden Point Dragons. Just her determination at the football, trying to drag her team over the line. Uh, didn't get them that way in the end but I thought uh, clearly best on ground for uh, the Dragons, so great result for, for them. And uh, as well in a losing side, being able to be best on ground too is a, is a great achievement. Some of the other players that uh, I thought played fairly well for Golden Point, uh, I really liked uh, the game of, uh, I think it was Wilkes, number 14. Yep. She played fairly well and also up forward, Beck Cubitt, so I think uh, was... Again, played her role. Uh, when the ball came down, she uh, imposed herself on the contest. So a really good game from her. Yeah, limited opportunities. Shannon Alexander came in and out of the game throughout the, the afternoon. Um, Lachlan, we, we probably didn't see enough of her throughout the, the game. We saw one goal in the final term. And, and probably Shannon Simpson was another player and, and it tended to be the case with the, the Golden Point players that uh, we didn't see them in that. I think it was a little bit of and uh, for Montmorency, Craig Schillingham. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys. Um, we played you guys three weeks ago, um, and you know, it was just a totally different team since then. So, um, for the effort that you guys put in today, um, I knew you guys were going to come at us hard again, so you should be very proud. Uh, to you guys, I'd like to thank a few people, um, Nathan, Dave, Dale, Craig, um, and Charlie, right, they've, they've been there through the whole year, well done, like, every training session, every support for you guys, fantastic. I said Dale. Um, to you girls, brilliant, right, you busted your chops, right, six weeks ago we were wondering whether we were going to get to the finals, look where you are now, right, you should hold your heads high, come home very well, very hard. Brilliant effort, every single one of you. Well done. Okay, we'll get uh, Zoe and Jamie from Cotton to come up and help with the presentations as we give out the winner's medal uh, in numerical order. Number two, Janiel Webb. Number three, Sharon Grolt. Number four, Stacey Davies. Number five, Jordan Schultz. Number six, Erin Baker. Number seven, Nicole Blythe. Number 12, Jamie Lee Watson. Number 14, Rianne Layton. 15, Alana DeBono. 17, Demi Lee Hallett. 20, Chantel Hack. 21, Danae Clow. 23, Emily Nichols. 25, Natalie Dean. 27, Danny Smith. 
28, Rebecca Flynn. 29, Jean Turnbull. 30, Ashley Sitches. 32, Madeline Bays. 33, Gabby Panozzo. 34, Ash Bays. 35, Brooke Lachlan. 36, Bailey Hunt. 37, Natalie Tomboyle. And the captain number nine, Rebecca Lane. And to present the cup, Zoe, Zoe.